Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well today we're just pretty much going to be talking about a new palette that I picked up from Essence. Is it new? Can you let me know? I looked online, I couldn't find this anywhere. I know that there is a similar palette to this, but this one is called the Give Me Crystal palette. And the shades that I saw online didn't look anything like this. They looked more warmer. This has got a combination of more cooler tones, neutral tones, and a few pops of purpley mauve shades there so I don't know does it exist let me know if it does and maybe I'm talking about an old palette here we're going to be reviewing and demoing this today I also picked up a new lipstick by Essence the Hydra Matte shade and it's called 402 there's no other name except that it's called shade 402 and it's for pretty much your basic nude pinky brownie nude shade there which I will swatch very shortly. I'm pretty much going to be doing a no foundation face today. So just a bit of concealer. I've already got my Garnier, uh, what is the SPF 15 vitamin C with pineapple, pina C. I've got that on my face at the moment. And that's it. I'm going to do a bit of contouring with the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. Let's start off with doing my eyebrows. This is just a, um, a Mecha Max eye brow gel and i believe this is available in new zealand and australia only but international you may be able to order it so the products i'm going to be using on my face will be listed in the description box below but i love this because i love the feel of the brush i love the color of the eyebrow shade this is in the shade medium and it's pretty much your neutral cool taupe shade so I'm just brushing this through the eyebrows. I hope you guys have all been well and I hope that you're all looking forward to having a bit of time off over Christmas and for those of you who are not getting any time off I hope you get to have a bit of a break anyway. So the brows are done okay now it's time for some concealer I'm just using the Milk Makeup All Over Concealer Serum I'm going to be dabbing a little bit of that under the eyes. Really going very light with this because it's a concentrated concealer a bit down the nose a bit on the chin and a little bit of this really does go a long way so and just around the sides of the nose where there's redness and just a little bit around the edges of the mouth to conceal the darkness smile lines look that's pretty much it and um, i'm in the shade for n if you're interested i've got a damp beauty blender and I'm just working that in. I'm filming quite early in the morning before the sun comes out because the sun stays up too bright and then by the time I want to go to film, my day is pretty much over. It's not over, it's still early, but I like to get things done before 10. And I'm going in with the Kosas powder. This is the Cloud Set powder and I'm in the shade Feathery, just some powder big fluffy brush anti match sticks I'm in the shade amber just do some contouring and yes I'm contouring over the powder it really works wonders honestly just a brush. Oh, what do you know? The sun's come out. Okay, so we've got the contouring all done. And now let's move on to this Give Me Crystals eyeshadow palette. So these are the shades. So I'll just do some swatches and show you what they look like. Actually, I'll leave the swatches to the very end of the video on my arm. Actually, I didn't prime my eyelids, so let's prime the eyelids with a bit of concealer because I don't have any primer on my desk at the moment. So just a bit of concealer will do. And I am going to set this with powder 
just the same powder that I used before. So for the crease shade, I'm going to be using this shade here. It's just a very soft brown shade. It's almost like a bronzer shade. I'm just putting that in the crease. And I can tell right off the ball that these shadows are very silky smooth. And there really isn't much fallout at all. And I'm just looking down into a mirror. And with the same shade, I'm just going to run that shadow under the eyes. The pigmentation on these shadows is absolutely amazing, I must say. Now with a flat shader brush, I'm going to be going in with this purpley shade right there because these are the only exciting colours that are in this palette, to be honest. The rest are all browns, boring shades. But, you know, boring shades are really the best shades, right? Putting that on the centre part of the lid. This is a satin shade, and I am building it up. Now, remember, we did powder, so it will be a little bit harder for this shadow to be applied rather than when it was just unpowdered but it's still applying pretty well now with the other side of the brush i'm dipping into this shade here which is a goldy champagne shade putting that in the inner corner of the eye this shade's beautiful absolutely beautiful this shade Just wiping off the brush, using the same brush, I'm going to be going in with this deep shade here, which is a dark brown. Fluffy brush, go over the edges. got fallout so I'm going to clean that up just with a bit of extra concealer and it's always good to have a damp beauty blender on hand it's probably an always a wise idea to do the eyes first but you know sometimes you just want to do the base first and then finally what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dipping into hmm clean fluffy brush not dipping into anything and I'm just going right over the edge of that top shadow so this is a close-up of the eyes the Sun's really beaming in now and I use the Sun to my advantage there I just want to pop out that purple shade a little bit more so I'm actually going to be dipping into this shade here with my finger so I want to make it pop a bit more there we go and you can always wet these shadows you can always go in with a wet brush and apply these shadows as well. What I am actually going to do is do some liner and I'm going to be using the, the dark brown shade to do some eyeliner. I'll just zoom you guys back out a bit. Hello sun. Just stamping it on. I'm using the dark brown shade here for the liner. So I just applied the dark brown liner and did a little bit of a wing over the eyes and now I'm just going to do some mascara and I'll be back to show you the completed so look. So back with mascara, top and bottom lashes, just used a black mascara 
and now I'm just going to be doing the inner corner highlight which I forgot to do so I'm just dipping back in with this shade here that we used in the inner corner of the eye there and just a little bit on the brow bone there we go guys so now I will swatch all of these out on my hand and show you the shades and let me know what you guys think of this this palette give me crystals okay so I'll be back with some swatches on my arm guys there you have it the give me crystals eyeshadow palette now I do recommend this palette do you need it no you probably don't because you've probably got all these shades anyway but for 16 Australian dollars not sure what it's going to be in any other currency so I don't even know if this is available in any other country besides Australia uh, but um, $16 yes it's worth it boring shades yes but flattering absolutely um, so yeah, I do highly recommend this palette and I really do love the tones and the shades in here and the pigmentation is absolutely awesome. Another winner from Essence Cosmetics. Now, finally, let's do the lips. And this is a shade, I'll swatch it out. Beautiful. It's Hydra Matte. Gorgeous colour. Let's put that on. It's pretty much my lips, but a better shade of my colour. There really is no way with competing with the sun, guys, honestly, but this is the shade. Now I didn't go ahead and put any blush on today so I'm just going to be putting on some e.l.f. brush. Putting on a bit of colour for the cheeks. This is the Beach Please Tower 28 in the shade Magic Hour. And one of my favourite tricks is obviously putting on cream shadow over a powder. Because I think it eliminates all that tacky feeling. Well it cuts it down a little bit. So guys that's it there. They're the tones. I really do love this and for those guys who are new to this channel thank you so much for watching and if you haven't considered subscribing I would really really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and guys I will see you all again in my next video thank you so much for watching bye for now